How high can Bitcoin go post halving? Bitcoin halving is like the heartbeat of the Bitcoin network, pulsating every four years. Miners, the unsung heroes of the crypto realm, are rewarded with new Bitcoins for verifying transactions and securing the network. But here's the twist. Every 210,000 blocks, the reward is halved. Why, you ask? Well, it's all about keeping that supply in check. With fewer new Bitcoins entering the scene, it's like digital gold becoming even scarcer. This scarcity tends to drive up demand, and you know what that means, potential fireworks in the price charts. Hello and welcome. Today, we'll be delving into Bitcoin halving, its impact, and what happens in the next halving. Back in the early days, when Bitcoin was still finding its footing, miners struck gold with a whopping 50 BTC reward for every block they mined. Imagine the thrill. It was an ingenious way to lure pioneers into the mining game, even before the world fully grasped the magnitude of crypto success. The rate at which new Bitcoin is born takes a sharp nosedive, getting sliced in half. It's like a cosmic reset button for the crypto universe. In 2012, the inaugural Bitcoin halving, when the reward plunged from 50 to 25 BTC per block. Fast forward to 2016, when the incentives were halved again, dropping to 12 and a half BTC. And in 2020, each new block brought forth a mere 6.25 shiny new BTC. But why does it happen? The Bitcoin halving isn't just a routine event. It's a strategic move with two key goals shaping the very essence of the cryptocurrency. Imagine Satoshi's grand plan for Bitcoin, a digital currency designed with scarcity in mind, akin to precious metals like gold. During halving events, mining rewards take a 50% cut, dramatically reducing the rate at which new Bitcoins are created. This deliberate scarcity transforms Bitcoin into a rare and valuable gem in the digital realm, creating a deflationary asset where scarcity becomes the driving force behind its increasing value. However, Bitcoin halving isn't solely about scarcity. It helps to control excessive inflation. By halving the reward block, the influx of new Bitcoins into the market is slowed down. This strategic move ensures the stability and long-term value of the coin. It's like a controlled issuance process, preventing Bitcoin from flooding the market and maintaining its status as a reliable and valuable digital currency. When the halving occurs, it's not just a routine for miners. It's a call to adapt and thrive in the face of a reduced block reward. This adjustment sparks fierce competition, pushing less productive miners to the sidelines. The stakes are high. This shift can sway the balance of network security and decentralization, reshaping the crypto landscape. In the past, Bitcoin's value has often moonwalked hand in hand with having events. The anticipation of reduced supply and surging demand has ignited positive market vibes, paving the way for potential price hikes. But, and it's a big but, let's not forget the golden rule. Past performance is no crystal ball for the future. Bitcoin's price dance is a complex tango influenced by a symphony of factors, not just the having magic. Past having events and their impacts. So how has Bitcoin's past having directly influenced its price? When fewer Bitcoins hit the scene, logic says the price should do a happy dance, assuming demand stays steady or struts its way up. But wait, there's more. Miners, the unsung heroes of the crypto universe, now have only half the Bitcoin to sell to cover their costs, easing the selling pressure in the market. Now let's peek into the crystal ball for the next halving extravaganza. The impact on Bitcoin's price could be even more dramatic this time, with demand potentially soaring while supply dives, all thanks to some exciting developments in the crypto space. But first, let's take a stroll down memory lane and see how previous halvings set the stage. First halving. The first ever crypto halving on November 28, 2012, slashed the block reward from 50 to 25 BTC. At the time of the halving, Bitcoin was a humble $13. But in the following year, it skyrocketed to a whopping $1,152. Back then, Bitcoin was like the mysterious cool kid in the tech world, known mainly to cypherpunks. But when its price shot from double digits to over $1,000, it caught the attention of the wider audience, making headlines. Yet the naysayers emerged when the price dropped to around $200 in 2015, declaring Bitcoin's demise. Little did they know, this trend would continue in the following cycles. The second halving. 
Fast forward to July 2016, the second halving steals the spotlight, slashing the block reward to 12.5 BTC. At the time of the halving, Bitcoin was cruising at $664, but guess what? In the following year, it skyrocketed to an eye-popping $17,760. Bitcoin and crypto were having their Hollywood moment, stepping into the limelight. Yet, with fame came the critics, a wave of media scrutiny, and the rise of altcoins and ICOs, bringing along unfortunate scams and failed crypto startups. The third halving. On May 11, 2020, the third halving occurred, reducing the block reward to 6.25 BTC. Bitcoin was valued at $9,734 at the time of the halving. I'm sure nothing prepared you for what happened then. The following year witnessed a peak at a staggering $67,549. Now, here's the plot twist. This halving unfolds amid the COVID-19 pandemic, with the global economy hitting pause. Yet, the BTC-USD price pattern remains true to its roots. During this crypto saga, billionaire investors like Paul Tudor Jones and Michael Saylor enter the scene, announcing their bold moves into Bitcoin. In each of these cycles, the halving effect on Bitcoin's price follows a similar script. A thrilling rally leading up to the halving, a quick correction, a period of consolidation, and the grand finale, a significant bull run and blow off top. The climax hits approximately 18 months after each halving, creating a pattern that's become the heartbeat of the crypto world. Now, fast forward to late 2023, the whispers in the crypto cosmos suggest we're in the pre-halving rally stage of the cycle. Implication of Bitcoin halving. When the rewards for mining Bitcoin take a hit during halving events, it's not just about the miners feeling the pinch. It's a domino effect. Lower rewards mean fewer funds for miners, adding new transactions to the blockchain. Why does this matter? Well, minor rewards dictate how much new Bitcoin enters the circulation dance floor. So when the halving slashes these payments, it's like adjusting the supply-demand volume knob. As the supply of new Bitcoin drops, the demand fluctuates, causing the price to change. Bitcoin's inflation rate takes a graceful dip during halving events. In crypto lingo, inflation means introducing new coins to the circulating supply. Bitcoin, being the rock star it is, is designed to be deflationary, and the halving is its superstar move in this design. Let's time travel through Bitcoin's inflation history, from a whopping 50% in 2011 to a sleek 1.74% today. After each halving, Bitcoin's value tends to put on its hiking boots and climb upward. It's like a bull run, with the price soaring as supply takes a nosedive and demand grabs the spotlight. Though, fair warning, this upward groove isn't an instant hit. Now let's talk about miners' struggles. With electricity bills hitting the roof for those solving the crypto puzzles, the price of BTC needs to rise significantly for miners to keep their dance shoes on. Efficiency becomes the name of the game, and miners crave tech that can hash more while sipping less energy, the crypto industry's version of a power-packed dance move. But hold on, it's not just miners and algorithms having a party. As countries join the Bitcoin festivities, their economic moves might sway the crypto dance floor. Visibility is the key. More eyes on Bitcoin means a potential rise in its star status. And as stores, businesses, and institutions join the crypto beat, the transaction volume is set to hit the roof. When is Bitcoin's next halving? The fourth Bitcoin halving is expected around April 17th, 2024. Now, here's the thing. Pinpointing the exact date is like chasing a shooting star because halvings operate on a schedule dictated not by dates, but by the mystical concept of block height. Imagine block height as a specific spot in the blockchain, measured by the number of blocks that paved the way before it. These halving ceremonies occur at fixed intervals of 210,000 blocks, a rhythm that's historically danced into the scene roughly every four years. As we gear up for this crypto gala, envision when the BTC block height hits the magical 840,000 mark. What happens next is a symphony of change. The block reward, which the treasure miners receive for validating transaction blocks, takes a dip from the current 6.25 BTC to a shiny new 3.175 BTC. In the early days of Bitcoin, the block reward was a jaw-dropping 50 BTC. The first halving saw Bitcoin descend to 25, then another elegant drop to 12.5, and finally, 
a modern day swish to 6.25 after the third halving, the status quo until the impending fourth halving. Bitcoin halving is coming. Be prepared. If you're excited about this crypto spectacle, hit that like button, subscribe for more crypto updates, and ride this wave of anticipation together.